Okay, here we are again. I'm going to do another video showing another important choke to know from being in what we call it's like a guard position. So again, last week we showed one using a t-shirt, um, but here's another one we're going to show you how to get a guillotine choke. And so we're going to kind of run through it, we'll break it down, and show you a little bit of the details so that you kind of understand it and know what to practice. Okay, so <clears throat> first uh, I'm just going to go down, and just like in our other one, she's going to be in a basic guard, so she's going to wrap her legs around me, and first thing she's going to do, she's going to try to control me, so she has my arm trapped, she's going to pull my head in, right, you can see we'll spin around a little bit, right, so as I'm moving, she's kind of on me, controlling me. Now, with this one, it's a little bit different, so a lot of times people, they're not going to like this, so they're going to try to posture up. When I do that, she's basically going to sit up. So she's going to post on this hand, right? And she's going to scooch up and get up higher, right? And then she's, now she's going to switch this around my neck, right? And once she has this, now she's going to scooch and sit back down, right? You see that she's got that? And now she's going to throw her elbow over my shoulder and do a crack. And there's a there's choke. Uh, really nasty choke, right? And this becomes like a, a windpipe crush. So it's uh, very, very effective. So we're gonna show it again, right? So again, first thing I'm doing, you know, I'm sitting here trying to do something. She's gonna pull me in and she's gonna control me. Right, first thing, right? So as I'm fighting, when she feels the momentum go up, she's gonna sit up and kind of ride that. Slide the L, her arm around, right? You can see, let's kind of get a close up on the hand. So she's got her palm facing towards her, the other one is going to go palm to palm, right? And she's going to pull me back down and throw that elbow over my shoulder. Okay, pretty effective. Let's do it one more time so that everybody can see for the fans at home. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Right, she's going to get a good, good grip, really pull me in. Right, very good. Go under that. She's going to basically ride it up, push up, slide it, sit back down, get that, and let's take it. <laughs> so make it real tight, pull it in. Again, um, really, really effective choke, um, but you got to practice it. The main thing is understanding this, right? So one's going to go over the head, the other one's going to kind of slide in underneath my neck, do this, throw the elbow over, and kind of curl as you do a crunch, right? You want to take away all the space and person's going to pass out if they last 10 seconds that that's a lot but you typically especially if their heart's pumping their adrenaline's going they're going to pass out pretty quickly um really really effective good thing to know but again you need to practice it so uh, find a partner go nice and easy right it's a really nasty choke don't over crank it but just get used to the movements and again practice it both sides too right um Again, hopefully you never need to use this, but should you ever be in a situation, now you have another tool that you could use to kind of save yourself. So practice, and I'll see you in the next video.